I'm so handsome. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is what you got? You better cherish it. You better cherish it. I'm so handsome. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is what you got? You better cherish it. You better cherish it. Can I give it to you? Show you how you can take it all. Wanna break you off. Could you ever fall in love with a young nigga like myself? Not been thinking about you. All right, so I had to do this uh, topic on the doppelganger couples. All right, so there's been a whole lot of um, couples that's been out for a long time that's looked alike, you know what I'm saying? And I really just wanted to cover that topic because I had went across social media the other day and somebody was like, What's up with all these doppelganger brother couples or these twin couples? Like, I'm going to call them doppelganger because that shit go hard. But they was like, what's up with all these doppelganger couples and stuff that's always looking alike? Like, y'all go out and find somebody who look just like y'all. Like, what's up with that? So, yeah, this is the tweet that or this is the post that I'm reacting to. Somebody posted and then somebody posted under it. I did not screenshot, but I should have. However, they screenshot it under and was like, I think that it is about narcissism i mean they say yeah, narcissism and insecurity meaning basically these people are so full of themselves but they also insecure because they want to find a man that looks like them to give them the validation that they were looking for when they were growing up or what they're looking for and they don't they can't give it to themselves so they ask others like ask a dude that they, they want the approval from a dude that looks just like them to give them the self-confidence and stuff like that. And all right. So this is what I want to respond to this. So a lot of people consider me and my boyfriend to be like a doppelganger couple because of how much we look alike. Now, I will agree that we do look a lot alike, but I don't think that we're doppelganger, but it could be argumentable. However, with my hair grown out, it does make us look a little different more different than we would if we had the same hairstyle like a lot of them couples do all right a lot of couples will go out and get the same hairstyle same swag and everything be wearing each other's clothes and then when you especially if you live with somebody for a while y'all start doing certain stuff the same and then it'll all align to where it makes you feel it, it makes y'all one you know what i'm saying when y'all become one it does have the tendency to make y'all look alike because also it's not just in gay couples. It's also in straight. I'm going to post a picture right here to prove that, that yes, even in straight couples, it's the same. A lot of people will get with their counterpart and try to mimic their counterpart. And then it makes them look alike. I do think that that's what's mostly going on. However, yes, I agree. There are some couples who actually do look alike just from birth. You know what I'm saying? So just to respond to that. Well, first I'm going to give my, I'm going to respond to that and I'm going to give my opinion. So, what that commenter said when they was talking about insecurities and all this other stuff, this is what I learned. Check this out. When it comes to the gay LGBT community, or LGBT community, period, but especially gays, and in my particular experience, gay black men, but especially gays, okay? They're always trying to find an insecurity somewhere. I noticed that. They're always... Oh, you you express how you want to be in a relationship. Oh, yeah, you need to love yourself. You are insecure. You need someone to validate you. So you need to be by yourself and love yourself. And then if it's, oh, I have a boyfriend that looks just like me. Now it's, oh, you're trying to... Um, Feed yourself confidence by dating someone who looks like you because you don't have it for yourself. Then it's, oh, you date someone who looks exactly opposite to you. So you're insecure because they aren't, you know, they're, they're light skin and you're dark skin. So 
if you go for someone light skin, you're insecure. You don't love yourself. You don't love your skin shade and all that stuff, right? I'm noticing that about the gay community. Every single time they consider something an insecurity, they're really digging at themselves. But at the same time, everybody wants to find insecurities in people when they're insecure because that's what makes them feel better about themselves. Okay, so I get what's going on here. But however, that's not always the case. Every couple that looks alike does not is not together because so yeah, uh, every couple that is together that looks alike is not together because of no weird reason like that like straight up i know that that has nothing to do with it a lot of the times to me it would have to be that you are very uh very secure with yourself and actually like yourself to where you see yourself attractive because if you can find somebody who looks like you and you still find them attractive to me that's what that means is that you find yourself attractive because gay means same not opposite all right so i feel like in that ballpark we definitely doing good with that if you go get somebody who look like you because i don't see how that's a bad thing honestly you feel me whatever your taste is is what you should go for period but i feel like the people who go for opposite races and stuff are the ones who have the ability to be more insecure you know what i'm saying that's just my opinion i'm not saying that that's exactly the case but i mean you just never know. I mean, insecurity can go in any way, but to always be bringing up insecurity in every situation is insecure, okay? And to me, honestly, I think it's just that you think highly of yourself, you think you dope. I mean, that's what the case is with me. I think I'm dope, and I do think my boyfriend's dope. I think he's exceptional as well. And those are the things that I identify with him in, not the outs, not the outward look, because I do feel like outward look can be, can go, can sway. You can be attractive in many different ways. You know what I'm saying? Light skin, dark skin, body sizes, ages, all that. You know what I'm saying? So that's not necessarily going to be the reason why I stay with somebody. It has to be more about the inside and what we actually like relate about and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah y'all uh let me know what y'all think about doppelganger couples all right is y'all a doppelganger couple have you ever been in a doppelganger couple and it's weird because honestly there is perks that come in when they said doppelganger i felt that because i have literally like you know uh had my boyfriend make calls for me go and use my id to go to to go to certain places get liquor Whatever, he can use my ID if he left his at home and they pass, it passes. If I don't feel like doing something or handling something, he can make that call for me. His voice ain't much different, so it sound like me, you know, make make appointments for me, whatever. Like, yeah, I get where y'all going with the doppelganger because it can be like they can be like your, your, your devil's devil. Your devil's devil, like, <laughs> which is one of my favorite movies. That's funny because that's one of me and Bae's favorite movies. We love the devil's double. And yeah, that gives that as well. But it is also intriguing to actually, you know what I'm saying? There could be a small fetish with it, fucking somebody who looked like you. I mean, I'm not saying that that's not something that could be possible. In my case, it's not. But I do think that in a lot of cases, that could be the case, which would mean that you are very actually confident in yourself. I don't think that that's necessarily narcissism. It could be, though. <laughs> Straight up. I ain't gonna cap. It could be. But uh, yeah, I don't think that, that would be the driving force of a doppelganger couple i think that these people have a lot in common they see each other they see a lot in common with each other it might also make you want to love that person more because they look they identify with you in a way and you might feel like you deserve a certain kind of love you know what i'm saying i think that it could be po uh, uh in a positive way it doesn't always have to be this negative insecure oh hurtful feeling thing like y'all y'all single insecure people need to really like check y'all's comments and stuff like just I mean, forget it. Y'all gonna do y'all y'all gonna do what y'all gotta do because y'all not really for real happy, and that's okay. But uh, all the couples and all the dudes that single aspiring to be in a relationship, don't let nobody make you feel like you insecure because you want to be in a relationship or like you need to love yourself because you want to be in a relationship. Let me tell you something. It don't matter how much you love yourself, it'll never replace the love that another person can give you. Okay, if that was the case, we wouldn't have been there wouldn't have been billions of us born on this earth talking about you need to love yourself. Self love is a self esteem and pride thing. It has nothing to do with, you know, like that's your self worth and stuff. That's all for yourself. But self loving, you can't actually love yourself. I mean, you can love yourself 
in a high self-esteem way, but you can't love on yourself. You can't hold yourself. You can't fuck yourself. So, I mean, yeah, you can jack off, but y'all get what I'm saying here. That check, that job, that career is not going to keep you warm at night. Y'all always putting that up above on everything on a pedestal, acting like that's some fucking accolade. As you get older, that is depressing, okay? Just because I'm a young nigga and I could tell don't mean that I'm negative, all right? Period. Everybody don't want to live that single alternative life that y'all gays have lived for the majority of the part. We want to live that, you know, uh, family, uh, white picket fence type of lifestyle, you know, that dream lifestyle as well. We want a piece of that pie too. You feel me? We done with that alternative lifestyle that y'all, that y'all chose to do. Y'all want to be alone, single, fucking a bunch of different niggas and going on vacations with different niggas every two years or whatever. That's y'all's motherfucking business. I'm not with it. Okay. Straight up. So, yeah, uh, that's my take on doppelganger couples. I've been showing pics this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think about this topic. This is a this is a good one. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. I'm going to see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. Baby, how much I really take?